All right, hello everybody. I just want to say thank you to all the hundred people or so who watched my Marina light video, the little light experiment. I wanted to do a one year update, uh, kind of give an idea of where this has gone uh, from where we started and talk a little bit about how things have changed a little bit. Um, a little backstory if you didn't watch the other videos, I did a, a little Barina light experiment. I found some cheap grow lights on Amazon. Uh, I started with one rack uh, and then ended up buying the second rack. Figured I wanted to try to save some herbs. Uh, I, I cook with fresh herbs, I like them. Uh, so I wanted to do something indoors so I didn't lose them every year and hopefully have something on hand. Um, should the store stop really giving <laughs> <laughs> given her uh, stock and stuff um, this has uh, been a work in progress um, I'm very happy with the Brina lights they've worked fairly well um, in some instances they've worked really really well for some plants and other plants they didn't do so well but uh, overall for the price of the lights uh, it was uh, it was a worthwhile experiment um, and it'll probably continue because I'll keep growing the stuff that I use and keep it on hand because it just makes it easy. Um, apologize for the mess, but I haven't had a chance to get down here and clean very well. Things are kind of growing out of control in some some of these plants. But I mean, overall, uh, these Barina lights have done done a really good job for me. Um, so where we started from? Uh, these ones up top. These are all the original ones from last year. Uh, there's a couple more down here at the bottom. Uh, that I started last year and they're continuing to grow. I trim them back every now and again. Sometimes I cut them all the way down to the base, see if they'll come back, and they do. Uh, I really do like these pots uh, that I found on Amazon. The water in the bottom keeps some of the uh, the gnats away, which has also been a, an issue. But we'll talk about some of the cons of doing an indoor grow. Um, I don't care for these pots. Um, I got them at Walmart. They were the standard pots that they sell. They just the plants haven't done well in them, um, and and some of that is, you know, maybe the plant where I started from. This here is a bell pepper that was outdoors, and I managed to bring it indoors. I'm surprised it's still alive and it's still budding and producing, but hasn't actually produced fruit. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. Hopefully, a couple months, and I can put it back outdoors and see if it makes it. Um, these two here, uh, I bought at Lowe's so I didn't plant these myself um, but they do produce indoors um, I've been picking them we've been eating them with the salads that we make uh, been fantastic um, these larger tomato plants I just wanted to give it a go and see if they would uh, take off uh, they've been growing really well I mean at least leaf wise uh, they've been producing some flowers uh, but I haven't seen any fruit yet we'll see what it does I'm not hopeful but if I manage to get a tomato out of it, I, I will consider that a success for me. Um, but I don't know about, you know, long term, whether that may be really worth it. I think uh, the biggest boon for me has been the herbs and the lettuce. Uh, lettuce and kale. Kale's been growing, but kale's pretty hardy. It, it pretty much does what it wants to do. The lettuce grows fantastic on these. I've got some red lettuce down there. Um, you know, for what we do, um, for my household, this works really well for us. Uh, Cost-wise, um, you know, we sunk several hundred dollars into this uh, over the course of a year between the lights and the racks, water, fertil fertilizer, and uh, potting soil. But cost-effective-wise, I, I appreciate more being able to cut my own lettuce and the little tomatoes that I get rather than going to the store and buying them. It's worth it to me. I don't know if it's worth it to other people, but uh, to me, it, it, I'm happy with it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it really has to be something that's worth it to you. That top shelf that's empty is what I dedicate to microgreens. And I typically grow a flat every couple weeks. Um, they're good to throw in a salad. They don't last very long once they're in the fridge. Uh, they only take about 10 days to grow so I mean you plant them and within 10 days you've got you've got a whole flat of them that's that's quite a bit of microgreens depending on how much seed you throw in the the flat but 
it works really well. I did uh, buy a couple of different lights. Uh, these Nanotech T5s, uh, Sun Blaster lights, and I primarily got them to grow the microgreens. Um, but I decided to use those for for these bigger plants to see how they would help out or do. So there's one Barina light mixed in with the two T5s. Um, so far, they're good. I mean, obviously the the tomato plants, the little cocktail tomatoes are producing really well. Um, we'll probably get a couple little containers when it's you know fully bloomed and we've picked all the the ripe tomatoes. Um, I'll see what it does with the the larger tomato plants. I, I don't have much hope for those. I mean, they do require a lot of sun, um, but we'll see. We'll see. So that's it. That's kind of the update for it. Um, I will talk about some cons about growing indoors. The biggest one, gnats. Once gnats get in here, boy, it's a pain. Um, I had some uh, fly tape up. That seemed to help a little bit, but once they really cut into the plants, that that was bad. I, I got the little mosquito... Um, oh, I forget what they're called. I don't even have a bag up here. Uh, mosquito bits. Uh, I saw on one of the YouTube videos you you soak them in the water and you douse the plant with it. Um, but I think the biggest thing to, to avoid the gnats is these. And I'll show this one here, this pot. These ones with the bottom watering. It's got a pretty big reservoir. I fill them up for the bigger plants. The water's usually gone in a day. Um, the smaller ones they they tend to last a little bit longer for some reason. Uh, I think it probably just absorbs in the soil and they just don't use as much. But the plants really respond to those bottom watering pots. Uh, they seem to go strong. No real issues with them. Um, these ones here I got from a dollar store. I don't know the dollar store or a dollar store. Um, it has a little reservoir on the bottom, but it's kind of a pain because it's so small to get something in there. Um, and with the lettuce, I typically just water from the top anyway. Um, the mosquito beds pretty much got rid of all the gnats. Uh, there's still a few floating around. They tend to tend to last for a while. Every uh, month or so, I'll mix up a batch of water with them and some neem oil and put them in the pots, and that kind of takes care of them. Um, but that's been the biggest downfall is if you don't take good care of the soil, you don't watch the gnats, <laughs> you're going to have some some bad issues in your house. Somebody's going to be talking to you about bugs flying around. Uh, thank God we were able to kind of get rid of most of them. Uh, like I said, every now and again I'll see one flying around and I know, whoop, I need to get busy on that. But that's been the biggest con to me. The other one is this room, and that's it's primarily just my, my problem. Um, I thought this would be a good spot to grow in because it was out of the way of everything, uh, which is true. It, it is out of the way. The bigger problem is, is plants die. I mean, they... The leaves die, so you got to clean up constantly. You got to pick up the dead leaves. I'll get in here with a vacuum and, and clean out all the dead ones. Um, but that's a constant battle. Uh, the heat in this room kind of builds up because it's so small and there's no real ventilation. I did replace the ceiling fan. Uh, if you ever saw the other videos, that was an issue. One of the blades was broke on the old one. I got a cheap fan. It uh, had it on for a while, especially in the summertime. Because in here it gets really, really hot. Uh, we're right next to the laundry room, so that builds the heat. The ceiling fan worked, but I did see an impact of the power bill. Uh, that was the biggest thing. With these lights, um, you know, maybe maybe an extra 15 bucks, 20 bucks at the most, um, has been my biggest like real impact with the that I've seen. And it's kind of hard for me to tell because I started up on oxygen and. The oxygen machine runs all night, and I'm sure that adds to my power bill as well. So I can't say that the whole cost of increase has been just these lights. I think they're pretty, uh, pretty effective, pretty efficient, um, and they, and this really worked out, honestly. So those are the biggest negatives that I can think of. Uh, you know, obviously money. If you don't have a lot of money, there's a lot of little ways to do it. In the other videos I kind of talked about finding a uh, old little containers make I had a milk jug that I used to, to make a container out of at one point and uh, I mean whatever you got but if you want to grow indoors I guess I would seriously think about 
what you're going to get out of it, whether it's really effective for you to do it, beneficial to you. To me, having the lettuce and the little tomatoes, uh, I like that. I like not having to go to the store to buy a bunch of stuff. I can come down here and clip a few leaves and throw myself a salad together. Um, you know, obviously carrots and cucumbers and stuff. I'm, I'm hopeful these cucumber plants here will, will grow, but we'll see. Um, they started off real well. Oh, and there goes my light. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to try to continue this <laughs> even though I lost the, the lights themselves. Well, here's what it looks like without any uh, added light in here with my ceiling fan going. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll edit this all out and redo the video, but um, yeah, so I'm hoping the cucumber plants will produce something. We'll see again. I mean, kind of like the tomatoes, they need a lot of light, they need a lot of nutrients. Um, I mean, they've been growing pretty fantastic down here with these lights. Uh, you know, you don't really don't. The, the biggest thing, like everybody else told me, you know, stuff that just grows leafy is going to grow well, and that's been the case stuff that flowers and produces fruit uh, like the cherry tomato plants i mean they'll i'll get a few here and there um but it really doesn't produce a lot like it does outdoors so we'll see um but again like i said i wanted to do like a year update and let you know where we're at and we'll see how it goes So I ended that one a little bit abruptly, but that was a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I just wanted to do a quick add on to the video before I posted it to show a couple of things that came in um, within the last week or two to show how this has been growing. Um, the cucumber plant is producing. Um, oh, let me see if I can get to it. I don't want to mess with it too much, but. My lone cucumber, there's a couple more that are slowly starting to come in, but they're not, not near as big as that one. Um, I ended up chopping out or cutting two tomatoes that were growing on this plant. Um, I still got one more, it's getting it's ripening. Um, there's a couple more hiding in there. You can see that, hopefully it shows up. But uh, yeah, within the last two weeks, a uh, bunch more flowers um, and the tomatoes are starting to come in so that's kind of incredible for me um, I was going to be happy with one but uh, you know I'll take a couple more um, my little cocktail tomato plant is blooming again with to pick some more tomatoes and some more coming in that thing's just been producing like a champ um, so yeah, it was it was interesting that right after I did that video, uh, ended up cutting some lettuce, uh, getting about six bags, six gallon size Ziploc bags out of the lettuce, and just let it start growing again. I usually get two to three cuttings out of each pot um, before I have to end up planting new seeds and starting over again. Um, and if you, if I time it right, I generally don't run out of lettuce, but uh, I've been moving kind of slowly but just to give you an idea of how things are going along I thought that was interesting that I had a cucumber and some tomatoes coming in right after that video so once again thanks for watching uh, I hope some of this is helpful to somebody uh, hopefully it uh, gives you or inspires you to do something on your own be a little bit more self-sufficient so thanks again have a good day